What's up you guys? It's my heart on display again. Uh, this is my third unboxing video and I just wanted to first thank you guys again for the support that you've provided me with the channel. We are on the road to 30 subscribers. Uh, I know it's it's definitely a, a small amount but at the same time it's no small feat to have anyone subscribe to your channel. Uh, so it's it's definitely something I am grateful for. Uh, again, really hoping to provide you guys with more content as these new figures come in for the following months. Uh, speaking of which, we do have some unboxings today of pop-up parade figures. Now, these figures are specific to the pop-up parade line from Good Smile Company. Pop-up parade is more of the, you could say the prize figure uh, line from Good Smile. Now, they're really affordable figures and they do have a great price point for, for the detail that is included in them. I really enjoy what they've been coming out with. They've been releasing a lot of different popular series, like I do have the Nekopara pop-up parade figures, uh, and then of course we have these today, which these are from the series Promare, uh, which is actually a movie created by Studio Trigger. Now in Promare, we do have the two main characters. Uh, the first one that we have here is Galo Timos, who is a member of the uh, the firefighting team known as Burning Rescue. Now Burning Rescue is a team that is committed to putting out fires started by these individuals known as the Burnish, who have an innate uh, ability to control fire, which leads me to the next pop-up parade figure I had, which is Leo Fotia. Now, Leo is uh, a well-known, uh, a well-known burnish individual, and they are known for starting some of the fires uh, that Burning Rescue puts out. If you have a chance to watch Premiere, it's actually a really great movie. Its colors are top notch, its style is also top notch. It also fits the mold of any Studio Trigger anime that you've watched. A lot of comparisons get made to Gurren Lagann, especially the main character, Gallo here, because he looks so much like him. And you also see comparisons for like Kill la Kill, just because of the different action scenes that take place. Now, as far as these figures, I've got the tape cut off of them as always. These are prize figures, but they're also static. They do not have different posable options. They come in one select pose, which is honestly how I prefer my figures. I feel like the poses that are meant for scale and prize figures, they're intended for that pose. Uh, they were sculpted in that pose for a particular reason. So I don't mind collecting uh, prize figures or scales. In fact, I prefer it because Collecting figures is like collecting art to me. You know, I have my my collection of different characters and they all come with their signature poses that best represent them. And I want to say that that's what the company's intentions are as well when creating these. So stick around if you want to see how the Leo Fotia and Gallo Timos Papa Parades look out of their box. All right, so first we're gonna start with Gallo. Now, what I love about Good Smile is that they do make sure that their products are secure. I had to cut about seven pieces of tape off of this thing, so definitely worth it though to make sure it's all safe. We do have the weapon that Gallo uses, um, and then what, from what I can tell, the, the base on this figure is yellow, which is a nice touch because it matches the flames on the back of the box here. One thing I will say about the pop-up figures is I'm actually not a huge fan of these bases. Uh, they come in like this hexagonal type and it's like that for every pop-up parade figure. However, I can understand that they want consistency within the line, uh, similar to how they have Nendoroids, which all uh, notably have the same posable base. So you'll see here that it's a little bit uh, wider here for Gallo, uh, just because he's got more of a dynamic pose. When we take him out of the box here, he does have plenty of desk covers, uh, especially to protect that crazy spiky hair that he has. And what I really love about these Papa Parade figures is that the figures have a matte finish. Uh, this is really clean. There's not really any gloss here. Uh, which does make for more of a of a cell shaded 2D look. 
You'll even see here on the hair, uh, the hair does have some white accents to it to represent highlights. And then from his details for his, uh, his pants back here, he's even got the, uh, the harness and they're just standard black and gold colors. They're not super detailed, but neither are they in the anime as well. You'll see here the face on Gallo is actually super cool, super determined, super confident, just like Gallo is, and he's gonna look great next to Leo. Now I've taken the weapon out of the package here. It has this super kind of, it's almost metallic-y finish, but it does have more of a gloss, which is cool considering that the figure itself is matte, so it is a nice contrast. Again, super detailed. These dots, uh, the holes that are on the weapon are not messy. The lines are super straight. These are considered prize figures. The next thing we have up here is Leo. So Leo does come with actually a smaller stand. You know, Gallows is actually pretty wide for his stance, but then you have the nice simple hexagon that you have with Leo. This is how my Nekopara pop-up parade figures also look. It's just a standard hexagon. And you can see it is turquoise to match him as the theme. Now with Leo, I'll be honest, I pre-ordered these because of Leo. I also pre-ordered Gallo because I felt like I just had to have the set. But I chose Leo specifically because I missed out on the figure Mm, I'm not sure who it's from, it may be Alter, uh, the figure that Leo had, which he has same kind of pose, same kind of burnished flame with him, except he has a really immaculate stand that looks more like the flame engulfing him. This is more or less the same pose, so I figured this would be the best, cheaper alternative. The hair and the expression, ah, oh, they're so great. You'll see in the back here that you have the gradient of the turquoise to his green, uh, yellowish green hair. The hair seems like it's blowing in the wind, which is a cool dynamic touch. And then you also have his varnished flame, which are the pink and turquoise colors also. Now you'll see going down the side of his outfit, he has a lot of pink and turquoise detailing. One side is pink, uh, the other side is turquoise which it looks like highlighting and shading, which is super cool because it's almost like he is the burnished flame himself, which is a really cool touch. Also, I am a fan of like Victorian type clothing. So anything with like ruffles and sleeves, I'm, it's to die for for me. All right guys, so there's Leo and Gallo. Again, I think their poses really do match each other. They play off each other well. Besides from the bases, I really have no complaints. I can't wait to collect more from the pop-up parade series. And if you guys have any uh, opinions on these figures, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, which one was your favorite? Was it Leo or Gallo? And what did you like about each figure respectively? Also, did you enjoy Premiere? Did you see the movie? Leave some comments also on what you thought. Besides that, I'll go ahead and play some extra footage for you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.